Here's a quick example of how to find and create a confidence interval for the difference between means. Um, let's just set up this uh, scenario first. I'm comparing two batteries. Okay, notice I'm comparing the difference between means. That's this. This is important. That's the the title. So I'm comparing two sets of batteries. I'm going to compare generic batteries to brand name batteries. And I set up an experiment and I um, I test six generic batteries and six brand name batteries. And I'm running them in a CD player or an MP3 player. And I want to see how long they last. Whatever whatever I'm doing. And uh, I do the same thing for both uh, the generic battery and the brand name battery. And these are the basic statistics that I come up with. For the generic batteries, I tested six of them. I got an average time of 206 minutes that they last with a standard deviation of 10.3 minutes. For the brand name batteries, again, I checked six. The average time that they lasted was 187.4 minutes with a standard deviation of 14.6 minutes. Now, um, obviously, the average time for the generic batteries was more than the average time for the brand name batteries. But I am looking at the difference between the two. Okay? Um, and if I were to be, one of the other things that I can find from this is, is there a significant difference? But right now I'm just creating a confidence interval. Um, eventually I'm going to use my calculator and the technology will be using this formula. Okay, I'm not going to go through this entire formula. We have the technology and you should be able to use it. So, um, if you don't have a graphing calculator, if you don't have a calculator to find this, then you uh, <clears throat> then you might have a little bit of trouble, and this probably isn't the example for you. Um, before I go any further, though, I should always check my assumptions and conditions. So let's start off like this, randomization. Um, I am going to assume that the batteries were randomly selected. Um, the next thing I need to check is nearly normal condition. If I were to uh, take the raw data, and since this was an experiment, I would have the raw data, I could turn the data for the generic batteries uh, into a histogram, and then once again for the brand name batteries, turn that into a histogram. And what I'm looking for with nearly normal um, isn't necessarily the normality of the histogram. I'm looking more to see if there is an obvious or extreme skewness in one direction or the other. Um, um, and in this case, we're going to, to assume that there's not. And then finally, this one is independent groups. Are my two groups independent of each other? Well, there's no reason to believe that the generic group of batteries and the brand name group of batteries have a connection in any way. So my assumptions and conditions have been met. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and go to my calculator. And since I'm comparing two means, I'm going to hit stat, go over to tests, and then scroll down to, let's see, where is it at? Here it is, two sample T interval. If I go back to my formula, you can see here that I am using a T distribution for my critical value because I'm dealing with means. Whenever you deal with means, you want to use a T distribution. So here we go. I'm going to use a two sample T interval and put in my statistics. <clears throat> I'm going to scoot this over a little bit so I can see my statistics again. And my first uh, mean, uh, one thing, before I go any further, one thing that will help you in the long run is you should most likely put the larger sample mean first. So this one had a sample mean of 206 for the generic and 187.4 for the brand name. In the long run, you'll be better off if the brand name had the higher average than if I put the brand name in here first. That would make things a little bit easier for me uh, when I get to the confidence interval itself. So let's go ahead and put the larger one in first. So this is 206 for the sample mean with a standard deviation of 10.3 and a sample size of 6. Then I get to the second one, 187.4. The next one, the standard deviation for the brand name was 14.6. And then the sample size for the brand name was 6. I am going to find a 95% confidence level. So I've got 0.95 in there already. For now, we're just going to say pooled, no. Um, that may be something that I talk about in another video, but ju just put pooled, no right there. And then we're going to calculate it. Once I calculate it, 
I get everything that I need. Let me pull this over here, and then I can highlight a few things. Um, first of all, let's look at the interval itself. The interval is right here. So this tells me that the difference between the times or the average time that the generic batteries will last compared to the, uh, the uh, brand name is somewhere between 2.1 minutes and 35.1 minutes. It also gives me the degrees of freedom. Um, this is something that is kind of a nasty formula to calculate. It's not as easy when you're de dealing with just one mean. Um, and you can look in your textbook to check that out or talk to your teacher about it. And then it gives you the basic statistics and everything. But this right here, the interval itself, is what we're really concerned with. Now, how do I write that down as a final answer if I'm writing it in the context? Um, you always need to include the context, the confidence interval, and the confidence level when you write your conclusion about a confidence uh, interval. So here's what I would write. I am 95% confident that the interval from 2.1, the interval from 2.1 minutes to 35.1 minutes captures the mean amount of time that generic batteries outlast brand name batteries. So I know that the generic batteries are going to outlast the brand name by how long? That's what the confidence interval is trying to find. Well, that's what it says. I'm 95% confident that the interval from 2.1 minutes to 35.1 minutes captures the average amount of time that generic batteries will outlast brand name batteries for this particular task. Um, just a quick example. I went through it as fast as I could. I hope that, you, uh, I hope that this helps and uh, have fun in your stats class.